Daniel chapter 4, 1 to 18. To all peoples, nations and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied to you. I thought it good to declare the signs and wonders that the Most High God has worked for me. How great are his signs and how mighty his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid and the thoughts on my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore I issued a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me that they might make known to me the interpretation of the dream. Then the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans and the soothsayers came in and I told them the dream, but they did not make known to me its interpretation. But at last Daniel came before me. His name is Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God. In him is the spirit of the holy God. And I told the dream before him, saying, Belteshazzar, chief of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy God is in you, and no secret troubles you, explain to me the visions of my dream that I have seen and its interpretation. These were the visions of my head while on my bed. I was looking, and behold, a tree in the midst of the earth, and its height was great. The tree grew and became strong. Its height reached to the heavens, and it could be seen to the ends of all the earth. Its leaves were lovely, its fruit abundant, and in it was food for all. The beasts of the field found shade under it. The birds of the heavens dwelt in its branches, and all flesh was fed from it. I saw in the visions of my head while on my bed, and there was a watcher, a holy one, coming down from heaven. He cried aloud and said thus, Chop down the tree and cut off its branches, strip off its leaves and scatter its fruit. Let the bees get out from under it and the birds from its branches. Nevertheless, leave the stump and roots in the earth, bound with a band of iron and bronze. In the tender grass of the field, let it be wet with the dew of heaven. And let him graze with the beasts or the grass of the earth. Let his heart be changed from that of a man. Let him be given the heart of a beast. And let seven times pass over him. This decision is by the decree of the watchers and the sentence by the word of the holy ones. In order that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men, gives it to whomever he will, and sets over it the lowest of men. This dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now you, Belteshazzar, declare its interpretation, since all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known to me at the interpretation. But you are able, for the spirit of the holy God is in you. Amen. 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 So we are reading uh, 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 Daniel chapter 4. You know, chapter 1 we saw Daniel and his four friends, they stand for God. They don't want to defile their body uh, uh, eating the unholy food, the food offered to the idol. So, so they, they, they stand for God. In the, so God blessed Daniel and his friends. So in chapter 2 we saw uh, Nebuchadnezzar saw a vision, uh, saw a dream. In the, nobody can't be able to interpret and nobody can't be able to tell the dream of the king he had. But the spirit, uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, Daniel, he, in, he revealed the dream and also he interpreted the dream. So, so in, the, in the second chapter we saw that the message that Daniel communicated to uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, God loves you. God loves you. Because of his great love, he wants you to understand your kingdom is going to fall. The, the, the God's kingdom to be established. His kingdom is going to stand forever and ever. So that is the message. Uh, so Daniel, uh, he... Um, spoke to Nebuchadnezzar. In ch chapter 3 we saw, you know, after few years, so uh, the, the dream, the first dream, he forgot everything and he made a statue. Probably uh, the dream which he had previously. So now then uh, he want everyone to be 
to bow down and worship the idol the the statue he erected and uh, uh, satrak meshak abetnego they stand for god they they stand for god so god protect them god protect them and after the you know if you read the end of chapter 2 and chapter 3 nebugat nechar he praises god he praises god he, he He even in chapter two, he fell down uh, in the feet of Daniel, and he offered. Uh, he offered. Um, you can read uh, Daniel chapter two, forty-seven, forty-six, and forty-seven, please. And King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face, prostrated before Daniel, and commanded that they should present an offering and incense to him. The king answered Daniel and said truly your god is the god of gods the lord of kings and a revealer of secrets since you could reveal the secret amen so he uh, he he acknowledged he said you know you are god is the true god he is a holy god he is the uh, god is the god of gods and lord of kings he said he uh, he said your god rules he rules he uh, he said in his through his mouth but in his heart he never repent and you know in in the daniel chapter 3 29 could you read therefore i make a decree that any people nation or language which, speak, which speaks anything amiss against the god of shatrak meshak and abednego shall be cut in pieces and their house shall be made in ash heap because there is no other god who can deliver like this amen So in in you know, Daniel three twenty nine, so he said, you know, he made a decree. Everybody in his kingdom uh, should not speak uh, anything against the God of Satrak Meshak Abednego. He made a decree, and you know, chapter two and three, you know, if you read, he promoted. He in the chapter two he promoted Daniel, and uh, Daniel petition. ask the king to promote give promotion to satrak meshak abetnego and chapter 3 uh, end of the chapter 3 again he promoted satrak meshak and abetnego but his heart he never repent he acknowledge he acknowledge he said your god is the true god he is a holy god he is almighty god he say everything about the almighty god but in his heart he never accept god or he never humble himself before god so now in the chapter 4 you know here when nebugat nechar you know after few years probably uh, when nebugat nechar in the chapter 4 um, uh, god uh, gave all the authority he he conquered israel juda and assyrians and even egypt in all the territory all the kingdom he he conquered now he was a emperor king of kings you know that is the title because he was a emperor um so so now he was on the height of his um, uh, life you know everybody you know sometimes they will be height you know the peak of their uh, cream you know the their life you know that time they will be you know pride themselves the same way uh, so now probably uh, after conquered jerusalem this might happen probably 20 to 30 years but we don't know how how long how many the exact years but around that time so now in here he is writing a letter to his people is people you know verse 1 could you read verse 1 nebuchadnezzar the king to all people nations and languages that dwell in all the earth peace be multiplied to you amen you know uh, you know in those days because nebuchadnezzar was a emperor he was a emperor so when people address uh, to nebuchadnezzar even daniel when he addressed to nebuchadnezzar how he called king of o oh, you you are king of kings so so the king also they used to say themselves we are i am king of kings because 
in his kingdom there are lot of kings several nations so he was a king of king but now here you know he writes he addresses himself nebuchadnezzar the king the king so he, now in chapter 4 god humbled nebuchadnezzar god humbled nebuchadnezzar in chapter 2 and chapter 3 God loved Nebuchadnezzar. God loved everybody in this world. Those who acknowledge or not, God want everybody to repent. God want everyone to accept him uh, as the king of kings and to to come to the saving knowledge of God or Jesus Christ. That is the expectation of God. That's why you know that is the greatest expectation everyone to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ so here so because god loves people god loves everyone he always he always um, uh, touch people make them to repent so here something happened in this chapter that made nebuchadnezzar humble himself and he himself is acknowledging god you know he said nebuchadnezzar the king the king it means i am a king but the king of king is there hallelujah Amen. so he acknowledged god i am a king i am a ruler of this earth but there is a ruler he is the greatest ruler so he acknowledge he acknowledge so god humble nebuchadnezzar you know if somebody is not repentant not repent to god not accept god you know god will give opportunity to people you know if you in the first, second chapter you know god reveal himself his kingdom is the everlasting kingdom but he never accept him in the chapter 2 god again he uh, made him to understand he came down and walked in the fire along with his friends but he he rejected but here god made him to humble it means something bad happened in the life of nebuchadnezzar you know if you know when god always talk to us when when we resist our heart to accept him you know sometimes god will take us in a in a very um huh? in the very um, a crucial way to accept god you know accept god so to today when we hear the new the good news of jesus christ when we accept you know then it is a greatest blessing but we harden our heart harden our heart god also will ha- work hard work hard here god made nebuchadnezzar uh, nebuchadnezzar to be humble why because god resist the proud can we read james 4 uh, 6 but he gives more grace therefore he says god resists the proud but gives grace to the humble yeah god grace to the humble So Nebuchadnezzar he in his peak he was so proud God made him to humble so with humbleness now he is speaking he is speaking a uh, humbleness of Nebuchadnezzar a humble man you know we can easily identify who is com- humble who is pride pride if somebody is talking about themselves themselves or their own family their own tradition about own they are doing you know we should know he was a proud man but if somebody humble himself you know humble himself so here you can you know you in the verse few verses you know you can see the humbleness of the nebuchadnezzar so he said nebuchadnezzar the king and he said to all the people peoples nations and languages that dwell in all the earth and he said peace be multiplied to you you know 
Nebuchadnezzar was a pagan king. Pagan king. But you know the peace, this is the uh, way of the Hebrew greetings. When Hebrews, when Hebrew people, when they meet each other or when they write letter to the Hebrew people, they greet in their letter. They use the word peace, shalom, shalom. So this is the way of Hebrew. When he accepted God, the Hebrew God, he is the king of king. So now the way of speech is completely changed. Now he said, peace be multiplied to you. So he adapted. You know, when we accepted God, so we also be filled with God and the, our way of speech will be entirely different. So that's why, you know, when people will see our uh, speech, when we speak before, when we accept God, after we accept God, our speech would be completely different. So if not, so if we are not, you know, uh, when we speak the same way, though we are claiming I, am, I, am, I accepted God, so we should question whether we accepted God or not. For example, Paul, when he accepted God, the first thing he asked God, Lord, I want to do your will. What I want to do? So he humbled Paul, uh, Saul, God made him to Paul. He humbled. So, so a humble person, uh, the way which he speaks, it is entirely different. So he said, peace be multiplied. A person, person who received the peace, who got the peace, he is the one able to talk about the peace. So we know today, lot of we can see, people are uh, 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 talking about peace. Peace, peace treaty, several treaties are, you know, countries are, coming together and made a lot of degree and peace treaty and still nobody, even the border still, it is the same, you know, India and Kashmir, you know, India Kashmir issue and in Israel, the border, a lot of uh, issues, even Jerusalem is the, the city called the peace, the peace, Jerusalem is what it means, it's a peace, it's a city of peace. Huh? Yeah, it's a peace. But still today, the city, it, it doesn't have the peace. Why? Because the, if somebody holds the, the peacemaker, if somebody has the peace in their heart, then only they can able to talk about peace. So here, Nebugat Nechar, you know, though he, he, he was a, um, um, idol worshipper, or he was a uh, he is not he is a pagan king. When God humbled him, he accepted God. He accepted the peace of God. He understand the peace, the true peace, come only from God. So when he received the peace, when he received the peace, so he. He, he want all his people to, accept, to understand the peace. So when we accept Christ, so when we accepted Christ, you know Isaiah, so the, the, the uh, Isaiah 53, 5, please. The chastisement that brought us peace was upon us, and by His stripes we are healed. Yeah, the chastisement that brought us peace, brought us peace, peace was upon him. Was upon him. So God is the Jesus Christ is the one able to give peace to our heart. So when we give, when we accept Christ, immediately what 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 we what we used to do, we will fill with the peace, joy. And with the joy we used to give peace to others. You know, we are proclaiming Christ. Why? We are not promoting any religion. We are promoting the peace. So if if I if somebody receives the peace from God, 
he want to peace with people and he want the people to get peace from god that is the you know the joy so here nebuchadnezzar he he is writing the letter to his people to people why that he want all his people to accept the peace of god the peace of god and the second he said he read he said could you read i thought it good to declare the signs and wonders that the most high god has worked for me how great are his signs and how mighty his wonders his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion is from generation to generation amen so now you know when he received the peace he is talking about god he is talking about the almighty god you know we, you know generally when the kings when they used to write a decree to his people or write a letter to his people they used to admire themselves they want to they they will exalt themselves then only they they think people will be subjected to his authority you know why people are so pride and exalted them because they think if they exalted if they exalted or they boost themselves boost themselves people will admire oh oh they are very rich they are very smart people people they think they will admire so then they 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 can they think they will be subjected they can rule they can rule you know here when when a man he got a peace a real peace from god he acknowledge god he acknowledge god he you know the first few verses you know he 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 said i thought it is good to declare the signs and wonders of the most high god it's a beautiful word he said has worked for me is worked for me it is a beautiful revelation it is a beautiful revelation you know god revealed to nebuchadnezzar nature about his work about his work you know he said the most high god has worked for me worked for me you know we know in genesis chapter 1 we know god created god created everything god created the light god created all the living creatures and uh, birds and animals and uh, and god created adam and eve and the seventh day bible said god rested god rested when god rested you know after followed god god god's rest you know adam and eve they sinned against god they disobeyed they disobeyed so god brought adam and eve and also god brought serpent and the uh, and the evil front of him for judgment for judgment you know that time the great law the great law god was full the law of god the law of god make make him to go and take the wrath from the adam and eve so god you know he was in the judgment seat he was in his throne but he want to judge adam and eve so now god came down and took the wrath of, of from adam and eve and now he started to work for our salvation our salvation amen you know you can read in john 517 please but jesus answered them hmm. my father has been working until now and i have been working it is a beautiful word it is a beautiful word you know if you read in john chapter 5 you can you you can read you know uh, uh, jesus christ he walked to the the pool um, the uh, the the badasta the pool of badasta and he saw a man lying down 38 long years with suffering uh, he 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 cannot able to walk he is he is a crippled man he is lying down he is expecting the the pool to uh, 
uh, the angel will come and stir the pool so immediately he want to jump in and get to be healed that is the expectation of this man but 38 long years he 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 couldn't go and to be healed now god jesus christ with his great compassion he just walked into the pool and he healed the man healed the man we know in chapter 5 and that day bible said it was the sabbath day sabbath day jesus said go and walk take your mat and walk so the man walking with his mat so the pharisees and sadducees they asked this is the sabbath day why you are why you are why are you walking why are you taking the mat why are you working but he said you know the uh, jesus uh, he he doesn't know jesus he said the man who heal me make me take your mat and go so then after few verses jesus found him in the synagogue and he told to him don't sin no more and then the man who got healed he went to the pharisees and he said the the man who healed he was jesus so the pharisees and sadducees they came to jesus why this is the sabbath day why you are working but jesus said it is amazing word jesus answered them my father has been working until now until now yeah it is sabbath for you but my father is working and also he said and i have been working i have been working for your salvation your deliverance your deliverance salvation and deliverance it is because of god's grace because of the 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 jesus he paid everything in the cross of calvary because of his praise uh, because he paid everything it is purely grace he worked for our salvation jesus christ he worked for our deliverance he worked for our healing everything he worked you know by grace we are we are saved you know the same revelation he got king nebugat nature he said the most high god has worked for me worked for me amen so if somebody touched by god if somebody accepted god he understand the revelation he understand the revelation you know jesus you know after 1000 uh, uh, probably uh, more than 600 years uh, after uh, 500 years he came down and to the earth he spoke this word but when he accepted god nebuchadnezzar he got the same revelation god worked for me god worked for me so it is amazing revelation and also he said how great and his sign he is really from his heart he say how great are his sign and he said and how mighty his wonders he is worshiping god he is thanking god he is thanking god you know knowledge we used to memorize the word of god then we accepted christ it come in our heart it in our heart now when we when we proclaim god it come in our action through hand so here you know he acknowledge he he know god he know god is almighty he know god is the king of kings he acknowledged previously you know the first two cha- chapter 2 and 3 we saw but now he accepted god he accepted christ in his heart and now he is he is writing the letter writing the letter and he said he is uh, how great are his signs and how mighty his wonders his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom he understand the truth real meaning of truth you know today when people they used to come to christ for healing or deliverance or some material blessing material blessing so when you know god loves everybody everybody 
So when somebody come to God and call his name, the name of Jesus, if somebody call Jesus, if he, uh, he, he know him or personally accepted God, he does, God doesn't bother about. But God want to help people. You know, when somebody called him, immediately the heart of God to heal, deliver and do miracles. But, you know, people when we receive miracle or healing, some, most of them, you know, they will say, Yeah, I know Jesus is the true God. He is the Almighty God, I know. They will, they will say, but they won't accept, accept God in their heart, in their heart. You know, if you today, if you walk out from the church and if you ask somebody, do you believe God? People will be saying, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. I know God is almighty, but they won't accept God in their heart. Jesus Christ is the God. He is the almighty God. He worked for our salvation. So that is the problem. That is the problem. You know, here, you know, Nebuchadnezzar in chapter 2 and 3, he said, God, God is the Almighty God. He acknowledged. But now he is saying, from his heart he is saying, God is wonders. He is wonders. And he said, his kingdom is the everlasting kingdom. Everlasting kingdom. So, you know, you and me to taste God. Taste God. Not come to God for any miracle. You know, in chapter 3 we saw, it is a miracle. It is a, God walked in the fire along with his, his, Asatrak, Meshak, Abednego. But even though, the king saw the miracle, he never accepted God. He never accepted God. But God humbled Nebuchadnezzar. And when God humbled him, so he accepted God. Accepted God. A man who accepted God, he always walk with humbleness. Amen. So when, you know, God brought us from India to America, to be, you know, we always struggle. When we come here, we struggle initially, we struggle for housing, for renting, we struggle for uh, commute. So we will, after some time, after months, we will buy a car. So then we will uh, struggle for our visas. So we will pray, Lord, we need a miracle. We want uh, you, you to help me. So we will cry and fast and pray for visa. Then we will get green card. Then we will pray for house and uh, pray and cry to God. Then God will give house. Then we settle. Then how we are reacting. That is the important you know, take home message from this chapter. So here, you know, he was filled with joy. Now, a joyful person, how he will react? You can read in Isaiah 12, 2 and 4, please. Behold, God is my salvation. Mm. I will trust and not be afraid. Mm. For yeah, the Lord is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Mm. Therefore, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Mm. And in that day, you will say, mm. Praise the Lord, call upon His name, declare His deeds among the peoples, make mention that His name is exalted. Amen. So the first Peter 1 also you can read, when we accept Christ, we should be filled with an unspeakable joy. Unspeakable joy. Luke 1, 1 to 4 please. In as much as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us. Mm. Just as those who come from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write to, an, to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed. Amen. So here, Peter, he is writing the gospel 
of Luke. So he, when he writes, so he said the things which we saw, which we saw, and then we we are sure. And uh, can you read a three? Chapter yeah, yeah, three. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus. Amen. So when he asks, when he, if, if somebody, you know, Peter, when he writes, uh, Luke. Uh, sorry, uh, Luke, when Luke, when he writes the letter, letter, so he's, he writes, you know, the things which we, which I saw. And also we know very sure. So he was full. He tasted. Now he is writing others to taste. So here the Nebuchadnezzar. He tasted God. Now he is writing the wonders of God. The wonders of God. The unspeakable joy. We cannot hold the joy. Hold the joy. <coughs> so then... Um, then in the fourth verse, could you read four? I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me upright, and the thoughts on my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Ah, okay. Now, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, the first three verses, you know, when he, he acknowledged God, he humbled himself before God, and now he is uh, writing what happened, how he was humble, how God humbled himself. That's why, you know, that is the letter he is writing. And when he writes, I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. So in the palace, you know, Nebuchadnezzar, he conquered all the kingdom, all the kingdom. He was settled, well settled. Well settled. He no, he don't want to fight anymore. Because he he conquered everything. He was rich. He got more money from taxes from different nations. From his own people taxes. He is getting taxes. He was so rich. You know when he was at, uh, he was at rest in my house. So in what he was now he is relaxing. He is relaxing. And enjoying the life, enjoying the life, and and he wrote, he write, and flourishing in my palace. You know, somebody resting, taking rest, and relaxing, and getting more money. What they will think? What they used to think? It's all by me. Huh? It is all by me. <coughs> correct. That's correct. They want to build now, establish their houses or home, or, they, you know, they want to show their proud to others. You know, if, you know, today if you walk in, you know, people will show their homes, you know, huge, beautiful home, they have home theater, and all the things, even they, some of them, they have the, you know, elevator in their home, all the luxurious, you know, they want to show to people. You know, now, he was settled now, he is getting more money, more money from taxes. He was so rich. Now he is establishing the kingdom. People want to admire about himself. How Nebuchadnezzar, he was a man, he was a mighty man. People want to appreciate him. So he built the city, the, built the city. And uh, the, uh, you know today the Nebuchadnezzar, the, 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 Babylon is the today the Iraq, the Baghdad. You know that same capital. He was the Nebuchadnezzar. His king. That is the capital for uh, his kingdom. So he built a, a palace around six miles. You know, imagine six miles, huge palace. It is. He want to. You know. You know. In those days, you know, these are the some of the uh, pictures I took it from the internet. The archaeologists, they found uh, the King Nebuchadnezzar Palace. You know, when they dig, you know, see, you know, lot of bricks, lot of bricks. You know, imagine, several thousand years ago, he built his palace with beautiful 
um, uh, bricks and marbles even uh, people are saying they are he is he used marbles to show his richness his glory and his mighty he want to show to people to uh, from kings from different nation probably they used to come to visit nebuchadnezzar because he was a emperor so he want all the people the people under his authority to uh, admire about himself uh, admire about his knowledge admire about his majesty that is the his heart so he want he build his huge palace 6 miles 6 miles and um, and also he he is the one um, you know made the hanging garden you know the seven wonders seven wonders of the world you know nebugat nature is the one he built because he has plenty of money plenty of money Be, uh, he um, a beautiful palace you know i put i don't know these are some of the i think uh, some of the imagination they put they they drew the images so some of the you know it's kind of uh, hanging garden uh, i took it from internet so you know he this is the world wonder of the world you know he he probably his god grant gave it's a beauty a good knowledge he used every knowledge the, all the benefits of god the blessing of god he received from god and built his kingdom kingdom to people to acknowledge him he want to instead of acknowledging god he want him to be acknowledged in the place of god that is the saddest thing you know a proud come from evil you know you can read in isaiah and ezekiel satan he was a he was a angel um, angel in the presence of god because you know god created him because of the proud he fell down when the same pride when we allowed our human human thought human thought people will be deceived and people will be filled with the spirit of evil the pride is the spirit of evil god resist the proud proud so here um he is flourishing you know and uh, you know uh, people are you know th um, the archaeologists saying though he built a beautiful kingdom you know in the uh, in the city lot of poor people lived in those days though he never bother about the poor people you know you can read in the same chapter daniel when he interpret the dream he is giving the advice to the king oh king help the poor people so it mean he never bother about others never never bother about others so now you know if you read in second samuel chapter 7 1 to 3 please now it came to pass when the king was dwelling in his house and the lord had given him rest from all his enemies all around it's a beautiful word listen this word when when king king david when he king david established kingdom you know we know uh, king david uh, god protected protected him from saul from the hand of saul and now saul is saul was defeated he was died so now king, uh, king king david he established he conquered the kingdom of, of judah and israel he and also the neighboring countries he conquered now king david was an emperor king david was an emperor so uh, 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 can you read the word again now it came to pass when the king was dwelling in his house and the lord had given him rest the lord has given him rest you know you can see the rest here nebugat nature also is taking rest but the same word you can the you know david say when the Nebuch lord has, the lord has given rest has yeah from all his enemies all ah, around yes yeah read that the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of Siddhar, but the ark of God dwells inside tent curtains. Right. Then Nathan said to the king, Go to all that is in your heart. 
for the Lord is with you. Amen. So now the king of the king David, when he was in rest, when God gave rest from all the enemy, he destroyed or God destroyed all the enemy and made him to establish as a emperor. Then in his rest, he is thinking about God. He is praising God. He wants to build the temple of God. That is the heart of God. That is the, you know, God, God, God's man and the evil heart. You know, here he built his kingdom. He want make people to acknowledge him. But here, King David, King David, he want to establish the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. So, you know, there is a huge difference. But if you read in, in you know, in, in Genesis chapter 3, as I mentioned, God took the cup of wrath. God took the cup of wrath from the hand of Adam and Eve. And he came down. He was rest. He was in the rest. In the Sabbath, he made everything perfectly. He was taking rest. He was taking rest. But when they sinned, the people they sinned, he came down. He came down. <laughs> We can see in uh, 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 Exodus chapter 3, God came down and he, re he spoke to Moses. I want to deliver my people. Jesus, he came down. He came down. He want to establish the kingdom of God. That is the heart of God. He want to establish. You know, that's why Jesus said, you know, if you destroy my, this temple, I will Raise it up within three days. Bible said he spoke about his, 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 his body. body. His body. So he want to establish the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Jesus, he came down to establish the kingdom of God. So when we rest, you know God give visa, house, car, all the good job, good children's. All the things. When we, when we get all the blessings. So you and me. To work for God. That is the expectation. Not relaxing. Not enjoying the life. Not enjoying and uh, building our own houses. Getting one house and another house. And another house. And uh, chasing land after land. And uh, thinking always to about the worldly pleasure thinking always to uh, buy things that that is the heart of God when God blessed us you and me think about how to establish the kingdom of God that is the kingdom that is the take home message from this chapter you know so God called you and me to establish his kingdom here Nebuchadnezzar. So he is establishing his kingdom. So now God intervened his life. You know, by, you know, we read in James chapter 4, 6, God resists the proud. You know, proud probably in our own family. In our own family. Oh, I am so rich than my friends, than my family. You know, when people, when when people will live in America, when they speak to people, their own relative in India, they used to speak like a pride, proud. When we speak to somebody, anybody, we should speak with humbleness. Humbleness. So here, because he was boasting himself, he was pride in his heart and mind. God his mercy and grace is warning to Nebuchadnezzar. Amen. Amen. You know, God always warns people before destruction. Before de destruction comes, God wants people. God wants people. You know, friend of mine, um, he was a pastor. He told the uh, real incident happened. One of his friend lied. So, you know, probably 
uh, five years back during the time of uh, President Obama. So he he passed the uh, bill for the abortion. So his friend, uh, he was a pastor. So Obama, for President Obama, he called him for a uh, you know for the a meeting. So you know the um, presidential meeting. So the pastor was called. So before that, you know, he got a dream. You know, in his dream, he was sitting in the front row, front row, when uh, President Obama is addressing. So after, you know, it, this is the custom for the president. After when they addressed, they used to come down and greet the people in the first row. So they used to greet. So, so he saw in the, the, the pastor, he saw in the vision, he, he, he was standing, in, he was sitting in the front row and when president, he came and greet him and uh, he, 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 when he, he gave shake to hand, he said, remember the pastor, he said in his dream, remember the born, newborn babies. That is the message, the newborn baby. Then when the, when the pastor, when he spoke the word, you know, the action of the Obama is like this. So, you know, this is the dream. So, you know, after some time, the pastor was invited and he's supposed to sit in the back row, back row. And now, you know, I don't know, some way they pushed him in the front row, front row. The pastor was sitting. The president was addressing and after he addressed, he coming and shaking his hand. Now his, this is his turn and his wife told, but the, the pastor said, you know, I am so scary to say the word to the president. So he was so scary. But his wife said, if you are not saying, I will say. Then he gave his hand to the pastor. He said, Remember the newborns, newborns. So then, he that action of the same which he saw in the vision. You know, he rejected the counsel of God. The wrath of God will come one day. You know, here, the Nebuchadnezzar, God give godly counsel. God doesn't want to punish people, punish people. Because all the punishment, his own son, he got it for us. We don't want to be punished. So with great mercy, God gives warning at a warning. He's giving warning. We want to repent. We want to repent. So here the warning of God came to the Nebuchadnezzar nature. And he said, and he said, through a dream, God revealed the things going to happen in his life. The Nebuchadnezzar nature he saw, he said, I saw a dream which made me afraid. When God intervened, a pride man, he will be afraid because God is almighty. The man, you know, to conquer all the, most of the uh, countries in that, in that Province. Huh? Province. Province. Now he was afraid. When, because God is Almighty. When he saw the vision, uh, sorry, when he saw the dream, his God give the warning. The God give the warning. So here God, you know, we know the dream. Now could you read the dream? I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts on my bed, and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore I issued a decree to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me, that they might make known to me the interpretation of the dream. The dream. So when we, re when we saw the uh, dream, so immediately he called all the wise men of the Babylon. Then the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans and the soothsayers came in and, and I told them the dream. 
but they did not make known to me it, it, its interpretation. But yeah. at last, Daniel. You know, you know, in the second chapter we saw, Nebuchadnezzar know what they know. Only the interpretation, God can give the exact interpretation. He know in chapter 2, because he called the magician, the astrologist and Saldians and the soothsayers. He called everybody. You know chapter 2, he know only Daniel, Daniel can be able to interpret the dream. But you know when he got the dream, he immediately called, though he know, Daniel is the one, he used to give the correct interpretation. He gives all the evil people, all the evil people. He don't want to go to God again. He don't want to hear from God's people. You know, that's why, you know, when people, they come to God, when they, when they come for some healing or deliverance, when God delivers, God heals. You know, that is the nature of God. When God heals and they will go. Then after some time, uh, after some time, they will, they will, uh, uh, they will, uh, they, they, another problem will come. So immediately the problem comes, they won't come to God immediately. They will go all the routes. They will, you know, they can go, you know, I can do all this puja, all these things. So this will help, this will help. You know, the same way, same way he did like this. You know, the king Nebuchadnezzar, he know, though he know, people, those who know God, you know why people are not coming to God? You can read in Romans chapter, no, because they are acknowledging God. Everyone born in this world, they know God. God is almighty. The nature will reveal the glory of God. The unspeakable revelation of God. Then you can... Think about the stars. When you see the stars, moon and all the trees, planets, they will reveal the glory of God. But they don't want to acknowledge God. They don't want to give glory. They don't want to praise God. They don't want to subject under His authority. So that's why, he, you know, somehow he want to get, though he know, Daniel, he called all the people they couldn't interpret the dream. dream. So only God, the Holy Spirit God is the interpreter. Hallelujah. Nobody can't. I can't interpret. Daniel can't interpret. Only the Spirit of God. Only the Holy Spirit. He can be able to interpret the dream. Amen. Amen. You know the Holy Spirit can be able to dwell in your heart and mind. The, the, the same spirit, the same Holy Spirit dwell in the heart in, in Daniel's life. Today we can have him in his, our life. When we invite him, when we acknowledge God, when we washed by the blood of Jesus Christ, then we call out God. Lord, I want to be filled with you. When we call out God, when we cry out to God for God to fill in our heart, the Spirit of God will come and dwell in our heart. That is amazing. So here, you know, he, you know, the verse 8, but at last Daniel came before me. So he tried every, his best, nothing worked out. Nothing worked out. Then finally, he called Daniel. And he knows, in him is the spirit of the Holy God. He knows, Nebuchadnezzar, in him, the spirit of the holy God. Holy God is there. Amen. Amen. So you and me, to walk with the holy God in our heart. When we received the spirit of God, when we fill with the Holy Spirit, we can walk with him. Walk with him. You know, the king, he saw Daniel, but he acknowledged, what he acknowledged, in him is the spirit of the holy God. You know, though Nebuchadnezzar made Daniel as the chief magician, magician, you know, he is the one supposed to go first he, because he was the chief. You know, this is the one, people, those who received God, those who received a miracle, those who tasted the goodness of God, 
they are not coming to Christ. They are not coming to Christ. They are not subjecting their life to God. That is the problem. They don't want to subject to God. So here, if somebody not subjected, God will make them to subject. Amen. Every knee, every tongue will confess. Every knee in this world one day bow down before God. But in that time, whether we are in His presence or in the hell, you know, that is the two place. Even we are in the heaven, that is the greatest joy. But is then the hell, you know, we can't, in the hell also people will bow down and say, Lord and Lord, you know, the, the rich man, we know the, uh, you know, the rich man and Lazarus, the, the rich man, he was in the hell and he crying to God, O oh, Father Abraham, he said, People will bow down and acknowledge, acknowledge. So here, Nebuchadnezzar, he called everybody, but finally he called. Now he explained the dream, dream. In the dream, we can, uh, you know, next week we can uh, read it very detailed, detailed. But, you know, he explained the dream to him. You know, the first, second chapter, he don't want to... Tell the dream. Here, he told the dream. He told the dream. And uh, uh, now Daniel was uh, in, in his presence. If you read John 3.20, please. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deed should be exposed. Amen. So see, you know, it's a beautiful word. Why uh, Nebuchadnezzar nature, he does not call the Daniel immediately, uh, did not call the da Daniel because he, his deeds were evil. Deeds were evil. If somebody accepted God, if something happened immediately, they will call their God-fearing friends, call them for prayer or they will kneel down for prayer. And here, he went everything and now finally, is, uh, he called Daniel. And in his dream, um, is, uh, please read verse 10 and 11, please. These were the visions of my head while on my bed. I was looking and behold a tree in the midst of the earth and its height was great. The tree grew and became strong. Its height reached to the heavens and it could be seen to the ends of all the earth. Yeah. You know the pride reached the heaven. Reached the heaven, that pride. If you read Genesis 11, 4 please. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. Yeah, say, they want to build their home, the Babel Tower. So God brought them. God brought them. The same spirit, the, the spirit of the pride is upon the King Nebuchadnezzar. He reached the heaven. He thought he is going to be God. Because he established, he want to um, build his kingdom. And in the, you know, in the palace, in the palace and in the city, in a, you know, the archaeologists, they say, they found a stone, found a stone. In the stone, this is the kingdom was built by Nebuchadnezzar. nature. So that is the pride. That is the pride. So, now God make him to understand he is the ruler of the earth. Amen. So, when God blesses, when we receive blessings, when God settles us, so we, you and me to acknowledge him, to worship him, to thanking him,
to 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 think about to establish his kingdom when we do that god will be pleased god will bless us and god will establish our children and children so here nebuchadnezzar he was pride god pulled down make him to be humble and he now he acknowledge god so let's close our eyes